upanishads are literally conscious acid wash and it goes on maturing your aspirations and understandings a person who works with himself constantly matures his aspirations is seeker the person doing manana of this tree you will understand simply you will catch the glimpse whatever completion you see outside is inside you whatever incompletion and conflict you see outside is inside you but the real freedom can be received you can get it only by a person who is already free not by anybody else this thought current i am giving you has liberated me from my own experience i am sharing with you the moment you internalize and understand in is out and out is in there is no in and out it is only in out or out in after i met swami ji and attended my first ia in july last year i had the most fundamental practical application for every day living which i got there for all the things that i had here that I had, that i had heard for 2 years so that is the first thing that swami ji gives everyone is how to live life practically uh, after i attended my first program uh, my whole life kind of jumped to a whole new level what i perceived of myself to be i saw that the way i responded to situations maybe any situation that came across me i would think that i would have got angry for instance but the response that comes out is so soft and so melodious and so powerful that i feel so happy with myself with every single thing that i am living through and i know that swami ji is behind all this and it is just pure divine intervention that actually creates and exists in our life every single second so all my actions i see continuously from the t- second i wake up the first thought that i get is okay in the space of advaita i have to just be established so i then act my next act even if i forget once we wake up so in a few seconds by looking at a deity at home or looking at swami ji's picture again i remember everything that i remember the way we are supposed to live and i s- experience zero powerlessness no stress no tiredness uh, pain all these things even if they appear i know i can instantly find the source and completion will just get rid of everything so swami ji is teaching me to lead a very powerful life beyond my capabilities capabilities of imagining where i'm going to go but i'm just loving the excitement and i just want to continue with this excitement and see where it leads me Okay so I just wanted to share an experience a uh, few months ago in temple one small ring had got lost okay it had got lost in a bunch of grass and we are unable to find it because it was really small and the grass was very tall so at that time one kid uh, he was helping me search for the ring so then uh, for some reason he was touching his hand to the ground and like this is doing like this um, three four times and finally he got the ring so then i asked him how did you get the ring and then he told I just asked uh, Bhumi Devi uh, I am a part of you you are a part of me I want this ring please cause my reality and simply he just knew where the ring was he saw the ring it was just right in front of his eyes and he took it so with this I want you to tell that when you really feel that you are a part of nature and nature is a part of you you can uh, 
whatever you want will happen it will happen the way you want it so this is what i wanted to share by this experience i have an experience to share which happened in cambodia uh, one day during the darshan i asked swami ji that um, what is wa- what is so special about the third eye and swami ji said that um, you will be able to see things which you are not able to see with your two eyes so i asked swami ji can i experience that then he said yes you will be able to experience it blessings so um after the darshan the next day during the process i was thinking that okay i know that um swami ji told me that my third eye can be awakened so during this process if i am mahadeva and i and mahadeva can be experienced in me then let me have a vision of the third eye so immediately a few seconds after that i i experienced the third eye vision which i I I couldn't even explain to Swami ji when I wanted to share it to him during the energy darshan that day. So this by this I want to tell that when you have a strong decision and you don't have any any thought a second thought about it it will immediately happen to you. Before I went to Cambodia I was asking my father that I want to go to Cambodia and he told okay I'll arrange money for you your mother and your brother to go. Let me see I don't have that much money to arrange. So the moment he told that I was not very complete about it I just felt if he if we are not going as a family let us not go at all that was the feeling I had but then I thought why should I create such a space instead I can create a space where everyone comes so then I thought if I am also a part of him if there is no difference between me and him I will complete with that part in me and automatically things outside will align itself so I just looked within and then I just completed with the feeling that no why should it be like that and the moment i completed with it within few days he told yes all of us are going as a family he himself called and told that all of us are going as a family i will arrange the money and the money is ready this is the place where life started this is the place where signs of living started this is the place where signs of enlightenment is shared first time on the planet earth this city is older than history itself older than legends itself mahadeva settled here this place is never forsaken avimukta kshetra experience the signs of enlightenment from the source get ready for a spiritual blast